Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday, October 14th and I mean, I was gonna say I'm not in the middle of any books, but like I am because I started one today, but like at the beginning of the day, at the beginning of the week, I wasn't in the middle of any books because I finished the ones I was reading um, yesterday. And yeah, I have started a book, which is My Darling Dreadful Things. I am 60, 16, not 60, 16% in. And this is a horror book that I am reading for my horror video that I'm filming. But also this was one of my anticipated releases. So yeah, very excited about that. So yeah, this week I definitely plan on reading this book and more horror, probably. That is definitely the goal. And then I might read like a fantasy, like break up the horror, maybe possibly, maybe a thriller. I don't know yet. I just know that like the actual plan is to read horror and then we'll see. This week I don't have like many plans. Honestly, I don't have any plans. Like you know, in my life. Like in terms of work, tomorrow I'm gonna be at the biobank, which sucks real bad. Cause like both last Friday and today, Monday, the people who were at the biobank, like in the morning shift, they, like the morning shift starts at noon, which is a whole other issue. It's, like, it's not even morning technically, you know, but whatever, moving on from that, they started at 12, and they finished at like 2.30 and that's very late. That's very, very late. And I don't want to do that. I don't want that to happen to me, but it might. So that's super fun. But yeah, I'm going to be at the biobank all day tomorrow. And then like next week, I am like supposed to be at the biobank on Wednesday, but actually I can't be there on Wednesday because I'm going to be at a conference. So I'm trying to like switch days with someone, like anyone, but also I have classes the next two weeks. So I can't like just switch to any day, but like the people that are like on the days that I can be at the biobank, they can't switch to the day that I need them to be at the biobank for me. So I am struggling. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm sure I'll find a way. But for now, it's it's being a struggle but um yeah that's that's happening so my plan is like i said to read horror and i will update you in probably a couple days and welcome to the vlog It is, I was going to say Saturday, definitely not. Then I was going to say Thursday, also definitely not. It's Wednesday. Um, hi, it's Wednesday and I have some reading updates. And firstly, the book that I have like started and finished, that was My Darling Dreadful Thing. And that one was horror and we were following Ross and she had, like she could see ghosts and she had a ghost that was like attached to her. And she performed seances with her mother because her mother was like using her to basically get money. And yeah, she would like perform in those seances and the ghost, Ruth, would like possess Ross, 
so that she would, you know, perform. And like Russ's life was horrible, like ever since she was a little kid. She was, I think, 21 during the main part of the story. And yeah, her life was like horrible. She had been abused in like many different ways. And in one of the seances, one day there is a woman called Agnes who had like her husband had died and she, you know, went there to the seance to supposedly speak to her dead husband. And, you know, she meets Ross and she actually like after that, she wants to take Ross home with her. And then we learn that Agnes can actually also see ghosts and she also has a ghost like attached to her. And then we also have like some sections, not like entire chapters, but like some small sections that are like after that, like the main story. And it's Ross talking to a doctor. And we know that like someone has died, someone has been killed. And Ross is like the main suspect. But she claims that like it was one of the ghosts who did it. But obviously like the doctor doesn't believe in ghosts. And so she kind of like has to prove that she's not insane and also like not guilty. But she keeps claiming like, like the ghosts are real. It's like she's not insane, but also she's not gonna just say that there aren't any ghosts, you know? And like this book had everything for me to love it. Like everything about it, in, not like the concepts, like it has ghosts. It had like a creepy vibe. It had honestly a very gross vibe. It had like a lot of gross scenes. It was sapphic. It's, you know, the concept, the theory, in theory, I would should be obsessed with it. But sadly, I wasn't. And I don't know why. Like there is nothing that I can say that I like actively disliked about it. But also there's nothing that I like love about it. I just feel like I didn't really connect to the story. I didn't really connect to the characters. I was never like gripped by the story. I was never really that into it. So sadly, this one is just okay. It was just okay. I think I'm gonna give it either three or 3.5 stars. Sadly, didn't love it like I expected to. And then, I mean, not then, I was kind of reading the two at the same time, but prioritizing my darling breathful thing but also started where sleeping girls lie which is actually also one of my anticipated releases and this one is a mystery and we are following Shade possibly like she at the beginning she like does correct someone on like how to say her name and like it's written how like you should say it but knowing myself i might still be saying it wrong but i do think it's Shade but yeah, I, I might still be wrong about that. But yeah, we are following her and she like enters a boarding school kind of like in the middle of the year. I mean, I don't know if it's like the middle of the middle, but it's not like the beginning of the year. Like there are already like, you know, tests going on and everything. And, you know, she enters this school and in this school, there are many different buildings of like the houses for the students. And each person, when they enter, they get like a house sister and a house brother. And her house sister actually happens to be like her roommate, Elizabeth. And so, you know, she gets to know Elizabeth and Elizabeth like shows her around, like shows her their room, like the, some of the buildings. And also like her best friend who's called Baz, actually it's called Basil, which is just hilarious to me, but like his nickname is Baz. And yeah, she also meets, Baz and like literally the first night that Shade is at the school, she like her roommate goes missing. She disappears. Like when she wakes up, she's no longer there, nor to be found. And people do blame her. Like people think that she's guilty of like her roommate disappearing. Also, we know that there are like some secrets about her past. There's something that happened. And I'm assuming we'll also find out about that. But yeah, there's also like a group of girls. I think Baz calls them the Unholy Trinity or something like that. And they are also very interested in Shade. And also I think, yeah, it says here in the synopsis that like after that, a student is found dead, which still hasn't happened. I have a feeling of like who it might be, but it still hasn't happened. And it doesn't say who it is, just as a student. So... I'm still waiting for that and I hope it's not who I think it is but anyway um I'm really liking it actually I've seen some reviews of people that I follow like that read this book saying that it was like too slow and I mean it surely isn't fast I'm on page 
173 and we still haven't gotten to like this part of the synopsis so like surely isn't fast but i'm actually liking it i mean i'm actually loving it i'm really into it i'm really like every time i sit down to read just a little bit i actually end up reading like 50 or 60 pages so yeah i'm actually liking it because i was interested you know i wanted to like it but also i had seen those reviews so i was you know a little unsure but yeah i'm actually loving it and i like i usually prefer like very fast-paced books so you know when i read that like it was very slow i was unsure but yeah i'm loving it and i also do love the main character like absolutely love her and yeah that's that's it i'm loving it so far and i'm still I think I'm still gonna read a bit more of it tonight. I wanted to get to page like 200. So that's only like 30 pages. So I will read that very fast. And yeah, loving it, having a great time. And yeah, that's it in terms of reading. And in terms of work, I was at the BioInc yesterday. I think I probably said that in the intro because I complain about it every single week. So I probably did. As well in the intro and like the thing is i was there with my colleague that's like every time i'm there with her like something crazy happens like something chaotic and it's never like there's never a dull moment when i'm there with her and yesterday was definitely no exception like it's the biobank but with her it's so funny <laughs> so like every time like in my, the schedule i see that i'm with her i'm i just know it's gonna be a fun time and it truly really was a chaotic time, but a fun time for sure. And also on Monday, like I was with two other colleagues, like I was in their room because we're not like in the same room. But I was in their room because I was I'm working on something with one of them, and then I just stay there. And we were like trying to get one of them to speak with the accent of the other, and for some reason, like she couldn't say like a specific sound, and it was like for some reason, the most hilarious thing ever. Like we were crying laughing. We were probably annoying everyone else because we were making so much noise and laughing like so hard. But that was super fun. Today, honestly, nothing eventful happened, I don't think. Yeah, today was not like a funny day. It was just a day, you know? Tomorrow will probably be funnier, I would say. And Friday will not be funny at all because I have to wake up extremely early for a meeting that I have at 8 30. I probably also complained about that in the intro. I'm not gonna go through all of that again but yeah that's that's it that's what I've been reading that's what I've been doing. I also did finish I mean didn't finish I started also because I hadn't started yet. I edited my video my last like last week's weekly vlog you know finished editing that that is uploading as we speak. Okay it has actually been uploaded it's finished. So yeah, I also did that. And yeah, that's that's everything, I think. So like I said, I want to still read a bit more of this tonight and obviously continue to make progress in this throughout the week. But this will not be like my main focus unless I get like really obsessed with it and like have to read it and can put it down because I do have to read a bunch of horror books and this ain't it. Like, I'm sure some horrific things will happen in it, but from, like, the themes that I've seen are in here, but it's not actually horror. So I will read... Probably the next book I start will be Boom City, which is horror, but, like, also sci-fi. I thought it was just sci-fi, but I recently realized that it also said it was horror. So I'm gonna go with that one because it's another one of my anticipated releases. And... I don't know if I said this already as well. If I did, I am so sorry. But anyway, that's it. And I will talk to you maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. We'll see when I have anything interesting to say.
Hello, it is Saturday and I just finished filming two videos, one for The Mercy of Gods and another one for Fool's Errand. I finished reading this book a while ago, but I still hadn't like filmed my last update for the video for it or like the intro or the outro or anything. So finally filmed that and this I finished filming last week, but also hadn't filmed it yet. So I did that as well and I do need to edit the one for the Mercy of Gods because I want to post it tomorrow so you know obviously need to edit the that video but I've been reading also I have gotten to page 470 of Where Sleeping Girls Lie and that's like this much in I am absolutely obsessed with this book obsessed like I'm loving it it's so good and honestly like the part I stopped at like, I had to stop because I had to leave, but, like, things things were happening, let me just tell you. Things were happening, and I'm, I'm obsessed with this book. I love it so much. I, like, yesterday I was reading, and I was just, like, texting my friend, like, every single thing that was happening because, like, I needed to share with someone, and I'm obsessed. I'm really, really, really obsessed. I am absolutely loving this, and I think that, like, everyone that I follow that has read this book has said that, like, the premise was very interesting and they really liked the beginning and they really liked the ending, but that was very, very, very slow. And, you know, that got me kind of scared. But, maybe I have said this before, but, like, it definitely isn't fast, but I am obsessed. Like, I am hooked. I am loving it. I feel like maybe it's because I just love the main character so much and so, like, I don't mind the book being slow because we're following a character that I absolutely love. And like the friend, her friends, I also love them. So like just them hanging out is entertaining to me. I don't know if that's the case or like what it is, but like it definitely is slow, but I love it so much. I am absolutely obsessed with it. And like the things we are discovering, I am shocked. I am so shocked. I am obsessed. I have just under a hundred pages to go. So I will probably finish it today slash tonight. And honestly... I cannot wait. Like, on the one hand, like, I really want to finish it. Like, I really want to find out everything. Because, like I said, where I stopped, it was, like, things are about to be revealed. So, you know, obviously I want to learn what the hell is happening. But also, I don't want it to stop. Like, I don't want it to end. That's how much I'm loving it. So, for now, like, definitely feels like it's going to be five stars. Yes, I'm absolutely obsessed. And then I also started the other book I said... I think I said I was going to start, which is Womb City. I am 27% in. And also, I love the cover of this book so much. I think it's so beautiful. And sadly, I'm not loving the book. Like, honestly, I'm 27% in. I should be understanding enough to tell you what's happening. But I am so confused. And I don't know if it's because I was reading this, like, late at night. And my brain wasn't functioning properly. Or if I'm just not understanding it. Or what it is. But, like, I'm very confused. I'm not even going to tell you yet what's happening because I don't know. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm not loving it. I'm not very entertained. Maybe because I'm so confused. I don't know. Like, I feel like we're going to have very important discussions in this book. Like, about very important things. But in terms of, like, entertainment value. Like, in terms of me being, like, hooked in the book and, like, you know interested in the characters and everything I'm not really like I'm not hating it but I'm also definitely not loving it so yeah that's sad that's disappointing but yeah that's what I've been reading and yeah obviously I'm back here came back last night and tonight I'm gonna have dinner with a friend because we're gonna have a trip and he wants to, like, go over, like, what we're going to do there and all that stuff. So we're going to have dinner tonight. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to finish this book because I do have to edit a video and I do have a bunch of things to do here. And I also am not going to be home most of, like, the evening and stuff. So I'm not entirely sure I will be able to finish this book, but I hope so. Like, I really, really hope so. And, yeah, but I'm excited for that dinner nonetheless. Although... I don't really know like what we're gonna eat because it said you can come like over my house you can eat here 
because like no one's gonna be there but like i don't think we're gonna cook because none of us likes to cook so, so like what are we eating i have absolutely no idea but um yeah i'm excited nonetheless and he said like he's gonna come pick me up at 7 to 7 30. he said he's like pretty close to mine but i don't drive so he's like gonna leave his house to come get me from my house to go back to his house yeah but he said like 7 7 30 but he like i've known him for god i don't know i was like nine eight maybe eight probably eight when we met i'm 25 so i've known him for 17 years and he's been late 99.9 percent .9 of the times that we hang out so maybe i'll be ready at like eight and he will probably still not be here by that time so that's fun exciting yeah that's honestly everything i think i think that's yeah i think that's it so i will hopefully i mean by the next time i speak to you i probably will have finished where sleeping girls lie i would also love to make a lot of progress i mean ideally i would love to finish womb city as well by the next time i talk to you so like by the end of this vlog which is sunday night so um yeah i do have like 300 pages to go of this book and 100 of this book if you want to make things equal 200 pages today and 200 pages tomorrow which i don't know how like how doable that is since i'm gonna be busy today and tomorrow but i'm gonna try my best because i do want to finish both of them but either way i will read as much as i can and i will talk to you on monday to wrap up the vlog okay it is monday and i'm here to wrap up the vlog and actually i didn't read a single page on saturday not a single one but I did finish both of the books that I was reading because I didn't read it all on Saturday, but I read the 390 pages I had left to read yesterday. So I finished the books, which was my goal. And Where Sleeping Girls Lie, I was, I think I had less than 100 pages to go. And it was feeling like a five star. I mean, it was feeling like a five star from pretty much the beginning. And it was five stars. Like, I absolutely love this book i loved every second and i mean love feels wrong because a lot of terrible things happened so like it's not like i enjoyed to read them but like the book was so good it was so good i loved it and i definitely understand the criticisms about it being very slow and like i think i said i usually do prefer faster paced books but it really worked for me like absolutely love it five stars perfection yes on the other hand womb city i didn't really like that one that much and in that one i think i said it was sci-fi and horror and in that one we were following nayla nila i'm not entirely sure how to say her name but she basically like she had a microchip in her and she was like controlled and like she was in another person's body because there's a whole like body hopping kind of thing happening in this world and she is like her husband controls her through the microchip but she actually has a lover and one night when she's out with her lover they hit someone with the car and they kill that person and then she starts being kind of haunted by the person she killed and i mean this world has a lot of like sci-fi elements including like the whole body hopping situation and like the whole world is very sci-fi but even the haunting itself is kind of like a haunting but in a sci-fi way which sounded really fun and you know i was obviously interested in that book and i feel like a lot was happening and it wasn't really like explained enough or like fleshed out enough it kind of felt messy and i wasn't sure if i was like the only one feeling that and like if it was if i was a problem like i wasn't understanding and i mean i might still definitely be the problem 
but I saw other reviews of people saying the same thing that like a lot was happening and it was very confusing and like on the other hand it was very repetitive like there were conversations that were happening over and over and over again and like the things that I wanted to be explained weren't and there were other things that were explained over and over and over and over again and yeah I like the concept I like the idea and like the conversations that it had but I didn't really like the execution and I never really like connected sadly I didn't really like this one so yeah we have a five star and a like 2.5 I think so yeah that's that's why I read and yeah on Saturday like I said I didn't read a single page because I actually stayed at my friend's place until like 1.30 and actually we did cook and when I say we I don't mean me or my friend but like there were four of us and one of us cooked but it wasn't me or him so you know but yeah we had lasagna which was really really good but it was like so much food I was so full like at 1 30 when I got home I was still so full I mean we did eat at 10 30 because we started I mean, he started cooking very late so yeah at one point like the boys were all in the kitchen and I was in the living room watching a football game so definitely did not cook so yeah but it was very fun and I also hang out with my friend's dogs who are very cute and one of them like she has a lot of energy and she spent so much time like scratching and biting me not like in a mean way in a playful way and then, you know, later she just fell asleep on my lap and it was the most adorable thing ever. And yeah, it was very fun. And so I didn't read because I did. I got home like very, very late. I also was supposed to edit my video on Saturday, but I didn't. So I got home very late and I did edit it on Sunday. But yeah, that's what I read. And I also brought some books here because I have most of my unread books here but I did have these three like still at my parents place and I do want to read them I don't think I'm gonna read them this year any of them but I do want to read them next year so I thought I would just bring them here and just place them next to my other unread books which are like behind the camera basically and they are these three books which are The Blade Itself, Before They Are Hanged and The Last Argument of Kings which are the books in the First Law Trilogy, which I'm very excited to read. Also, the books are so floppy, like, they're very satisfying to hold. Especially, like, this third one that is, like, so thick and it's so floppy. Like, look at this. How satisfying is this? Yes. And, yeah, I want to read these books. I've heard great things about them. I've heard they're very dark and... I'm excited and I also brought the eye of the world because my colleague one of my colleagues he is going to start reading the series and I've been wanting to reread the series I mean even before I finished reading it I knew I wanted to reread it so like whenever he starts reading the series I'm gonna start rereading the series and like he's been saying that he's gonna start for a couple months and he still hasn't but I brought the book here anyway for like whenever he does start. Also, I hate the way like I tab this book. I don't know, like I used to tab my books like with a tab like so far out of the book. Like now I, they're not, you know what I mean? So yeah, while I'm reading this book, I'm definitely going to change these tabs because I hate them. But yeah, I brought these books and... I think that's everything that I have to say honestly I think that's everything that happened since I last talked to you and so to wrap up what I did read in this vlog so I read my darling dreadful things where sleeping girls lie and womb city and that was 1352 pages which is so much more than I expected and honestly like so much more than I usually read I don't know how that happened but I'm very happy that it did and yeah, that is everything for this weekly reading vlog. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you do, give it a like and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye!